Evidence of biblical battle in Jerusalem where an angel of the Lord decimated 185,000 soldiers. Divine forces versus the enemy army. We see this all throughout the Old Testament. And there's a very wonderful passage, well, it's striking to me, in the book of the Maccabees, when an angel of the Lord, by the way, they always look like people because that's the highest creation of God, even human, the human is created in God's image. Uh, the angels, uh, the angel of the Lord asked the Maccabees, what do you see above you, above you in the skies? And they looked up and they said, we see a battle going on. And the angel said, that's exactly right. In other words, what's happening in heaven also takes part, has an effect on earth. You see the good versus the, the, the evil forces fighting above us in the spiritual world. It also takes place here. Isn't that something? Now, what happened? Evidence of a biblical battle in Jerusalem where the angel of the Lord decimated 185,000 soldiers. Research has discovered an ancient military base that may be the battlefield where God's angels decimated 185,000 soldiers who tried to conquer the Holy Land some 2,700 years ago. A biblical account describes an angel of the Lord descending upon the troops and uh, doing away with them, 185,000 soldiers. A newly discovered archaeological site in Jerusalem may provide hard evidence to support the biblical account of a cataclysmic battle between divine forces and an enemy army. Researchers discovered an ancient military base that may be the battlefield where God's angels decimated 185,000 soldiers who tried to conquer the Holy Land some 2,700 years ago, according to a report on the Daily Mail. The biblical account describes an angel of the Lord descending upon the troops and killing 185,000 soldiers in a single night. This event is said to have thwarted the Assyrian Empire's attempts to capture Jerusalem. The Assyrian Empire, which ruled from 1365 to 609 BC, was under the command of King Sennacherib during this period. The aim of his campaign was to dominate all the routes that crossed the Syrian desert and led to the Mediterranean Sea. An important piece of evidence supporting this discovery comes from a well-known sculpture on the stone walls of Sennacherib's palace. The sculpture depicts the conquest of La Shish, the city located 42 kilometers south of Jerusalem, and includes a depiction of the plan of a military base. Archaeologist Stephen Compton used this ancient engraving to cross-reference aerial photos of the supposed site part of a historic site in Israel called Ammunition Hill, taken in 1910. His analysis reveals that the maps matched, identifying the military base as being about 2,600 years old. Compton's findings suggest that the area was abandoned after Sennacherib's invasion, adding weight to the historical accuracy of the biblical account. The discovery of this ancient military base offers a glimpse into the past, providing a tangible connection to the dramatic events described in the Bible. The researchers hope that applying similar methods will lead to the discovery of other military bases and ancient cities destroyed by the Assyrian Empire. This ongoing research could further illuminate the historical context of the biblical narratives and enhance understanding of ancient conflicts in the region. And uh, this is from Penda Postagma. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.